Rep fams, what is good? We're back at it again with another great pair for you. I'm more excited to bring you this review than any other shoe or video that I've done. This is the OG Batch Jordan 3 Black Cement. I mean, this is a holy grail. I'm a huge Jordan 3 fan. I've been loving Jordan 3s forever. They're one of my favorite shoes. The thing about Rep 3s is for the longest time, I mean, pretty much always. Ways. They've never really gotten Rep 3s down. It's not that they couldn't, they just really didn't put the effort into it. And I don't know why, because they're one of the hottest shoes out and one of the best shoes ever made. So I think people just like me always wanted them to do them right. Now I have to say, after all these times of having really bad Rep 3s, they finally fixed it. Look how beautiful this shoe is. Now I got this from Ann. This is part of that 26 kilogram haul that I got from Ann, the nine pairs. If you've been following my channel, you know who Ann is. She's one of the greatest sellers in the game. She has all the top tier batches from LJR to PK to GD to OG, S2, top, anything you want, she has. She sells jerseys for $30 ship, accessories, bags, all that stuff. So check Ann out. This is OG Batch Black Cement Jordan 3s. Now let's stop chatting and get right into it. I'm super excited for this. So the Jordan 3 Black Cement is one of my holy grail shoes it probably is my favorite shoe ever made next to the travis lowe's but i'm telling you i think this even beats the travis lowe's and you guys know how much i love travis lowe's so that's really saying something the reason being that i never really got these i mean i did have one pair a long time ago a rep pair and it was terrible just like all the other ones the same major flaws that they never could get right so the first thing that rep threes never really got right was this shape the shape was always off i mean look how incredible this rep three is the shape they got really down nice on these the second thing that always was an issue was the toe box shape so you can see how nice that toe box shape is it kind of like comes to like a curve but like a slight point to it you can see better from this view how nice that toe box is the toe box is incredible next thing is the elephant print the elephant print used to be really super bold no matter where you would go or what batch or what jordan 3 any jordan 3 with elephant print anyone will say is a no-go that was always an issue but you could see on on this updated OG batch, look how beautiful that elephant print is. They made it not as bold, they slimmed it down. I mean, it looks absolutely incredible. It is literally the most perfect elephant print I've seen to date on any rep shoe with the elephant print. So that is really, really good. The next thing that was always an issue with, see the strap right here, the mud guard that with the elephant print that goes around the toe, that used to be always super, super thick. It was really thick and too big. They slimmed that down really, really nice this is how it should be it always used to be crazy incredibly thick and then when you come to the inside it used to be really even thicker when it came around to the inside but you can see they really did slim it down so look how nice that is it's got a gray stitch that goes through the mud guard it kind of blends in with it there so that is really good the next thing that was an issue was see the cut right here that goes up on a little slant of the elephant print they used to be too steep and too high so they lowered a little bit so this is how you would want it to be it's kind of goes at an incline nice and slow instead of going too high up and then also another issue was see the cuts in the back the elephant print cuts the one that makes the u on most rep threes they're too high they would literally be like up here where the air is which is super high it should be lower you could tell they lowered it and that looks perfect you don't want to be too low either so they really did a perfect job with doing that so that pretty much was it with most of the rep flaws the shape the elephant print being too bold the toe strap being too thick and the cuts in the back too high so being that they fixed it you definitely have to jump on it they fixed other colorways like the unc threes and a bunch of other ones so grab a pair if you've been waiting for rep threes i jump on it especially with this updated og batch once the reimagined threes came out and they really did a good job on them they really did the same thing with the slimmer toe the nicer elephant print the better shape people started to realize all right we're getting closer they never really cared about updating rep threes people said it over and over again please update this fix this and they never did but once the reimagined threes dropped and we saw how great of a job they did that's another three you should cop we started to see that they're going in the right direction other than the things that i pointed out rep threes and retail threes always have some of the best quality leather on them i mean incredibly soft buttery leather it's one of the nicest leathers on any jordan retail or rep they've always used really 
really nice high quality leather so the whole upper is this beautiful black buttery leather i mean look how nice that leather is incredible you can see the little bit of tumble in it i actually like because it shows how nice and high quality and premium they are i mean look when you just squeeze it it's not cheap it's not plasticky cheap crummy leather is like really stiff you can see on the bottom here it also has the black leather on this bottom piece as well as over here so the bottom of the upper is stitched to the top of the upper it's a little bit more smoother of a black leather so it is still really high quality premium but it's not tumbled at all it does have a stitch that connects the bottom to the top which starts at the elephant print and goes all the way around the toe that pretty much makes the toe box so you could see how nice that stitch is how nice it makes the toe box there as it comes around to this side and look how clean that double stitch is the stitching on this shoe is really really good we come back to this side you can see the gray leather that makes up the lace hole panel here it's got the little holes in it with the nice stitch so it's a nice clean quality gray leather and then it's the same type of gray leather that makes up the tongue you can see it's got the holes in it as well and then you have it on this side it's got the black lace hole pieces where the laces go through the stitching under it's really really good size of this gray cutout is really really nice you can see the black lace pieces right there if you come up to the highest lace hole right there it's got a gray plastic piece with the nice stitching around it two holes in it for the laces to go through as well as on this side the same thing if you come down to these lace holes there's no other leather or you know a piece of leather on top that makes the panel it is just the black leather but but they put a single stitch to make this shape and then you got the little red plastic pieces that make up the lace holes there same thing on this side so i'll show you that real quick all the little details the stitching the leather cuts are super clean i mean look at the edges of the leather really really clean no choppy edging at all even with the elephant print there's not much stitching on this shoe like jordan fours or other pieces that layer a lot of different materials there's just that big stitch that we looked over you have kind of like a corner stitch per se as it starts up here and it goes down on an angle you don't want it to be straight down you want it to be on that nice angle there and then it kind of makes up the panel where the lace holes are and goes down to the elephant print so look how nice and clean it's a black stitch there there's a little bit of stitching that goes around the side of the heel there so that's all the stitching you got the gray around the back of the ankle it's the same gray leather that have the holes in it just like the tongue and the lace hole panels and this is really soft high quality leather as well the midsole's all white white rubber midsole on the front there you can see even the grains and the little details in the midsole are spot on to retail got the white stitch that comes around the front and the whole bottom of the sole when you look at it from the side view is all gray there and then it comes up to the stars look at how perfect those stars are as well and then this part of the midsole is painted so you can barely even see any brush strokes they painted that midsole nice and clean and then it comes to like a little bit of a maddish kind of color black you got the air bubble unit there this is a functioning working air bubble unit you can just hear it it's not just for show the same technology that are in the retail they use on the reps as well you got that nice black midsole there if you come and look at this side same midsole that is pretty much the whole upper i mean it's just incredibly beautiful we'll look at the bottom there you can see it's a regular jordan 3 bottom gray makes up most of it so you can come up and see the details in the sole there look at those little kind of like star looking things that go around there then you have the red and then it comes up to the stars you have the the white with the red nike logo which looks really really cool and clean the midsole's nice and sturdy you can't squeeze this in half rep jordan threes or fours and stuff like it don't really have the promise mostly jordan ones we'll come over and look at this side really quick everything's the same how i pointed it out before like i said they slimmed the toe strap the elephant print the stitching the shape the details i mean really really beautiful so i don't want to repeat myself so i'll just give you a close-up of all this it does come with the little orange Nike hang tag there with the Nike Air, which most OG Jordans come with. I will put this out of the way, get a little close up so you can see all the details. I mean, exactly like the other side. 
perfect, beautiful shape to it. I mean, incredible. I mean, it really is the best rep Jordan 3 I've ever seen, the closest I've ever seen to retail. They did a great job on this. So we'll come around and look at the backs. I already pretty much told you about the elephant print on the back, but I wanted to show you them side by side. It's got that nice black plastic heel tab on there. So see the nice heel tab? You have the white Nike and the white Air. They're both nice and straight. The Airs are centered. The Nike placement is perfect. You can see how nice and centered and straight those Airs are. You don't want them to be crooked. I already went over the elephant print. Like I said, they used to be really, really high, which isn't correct. It should be lower like this. So they did push it down and make it low, which is exactly what they should have been doing. There is the back of the sole. You got the black, the white, and then the gray on the heels there. Then the stitching on the heel tab, it's just a black stitch that stitches that heel tab on. You can see the back of the top of the heels got that gray leather material with the holes. They're nice and even. The heights are nice and even. These little bumps right here are nice and defined. So incredible from the back, you know, really perfect. What looks nicer than that? I mean, this shoe is super, super sexy. That's why it's one of the best Jordans ever made. So from the backs, they are perfect. We'll come around to the fronts. I showed you the toe boxes and everything, but I wanted to show you from the front view. So there is the midsole. You can see the details in the midsole, the gray stars, the paint line that comes around the front of the toe stays nice and clean. Got the white stitch. There is the toe box from this view. I'll put them side by side so you can see the mud guards are nice and even. They're nice and slim. Elephant print looks good. Shape of the toe boxes. If you come up to this view, you can see how nice and soft and buttery that leather is. I mean, incredible high quality premium leather. The stitch I already showed you that makes the shape of the toe box is really, really clean. And then it comes up to that gray leather with the holes on it, just like the little side there that makes up the tongues. This gray leather with the holes goes all the way up to about here. And then it comes up to a regular gray leather. So a regular gray leather with no holes in it. So look how nice that is. Look at the grains in the leather. Even the leather on the tongue is so super smooth and high quality. You have a perfectly embroidered red Jumpman. Look how perfect that is. The placement of the Jumpman is really, really good. We'll look at this one. Look how clean that is. Spot on. You can see a little bit of the red from the back of the tongue. I mean, super high quality. The tongue heights are perfect from the side. They look really, really good. If you kind of open it up a little bit, you can see the shape of the tongue's really, really nice. So I'll give you a nice close up. Look at how high quality that leather is. Embroidery is nice and tight and clean. And then I'll give you a close up of this one. So that is the tongues. It comes laced up right out the box with black laces, all black laces, which I think it looks great with. Maybe some people would put gray or red, but maybe the red would look good, but I like the black in, so I'm gonna leave that in. So that is the regular flat laces. So now I'm gonna turn the flash on so I can show you the insoles, the sock line, and the back of the tongue. So I turned the flash on so we could see the sock liner it's just a regular gray sock liner so just like pretty much all jordan fours or threes nice gray color to it you can see the shape is real nice it's got some padding on the heel there it's got some padding around the back of the heel nice and soft material if you come and look at the back of the tongue it's got the same material as the gray but red we'll take a closer look at that in a minute if we come and look at the insole it's just an all red insole so check that out really beautiful color beautiful material that makes up that insole and then it's got the black nike air on the heel so this is the right shoe so that is the back of the right heel if we come and look at the back of the tongue i already showed you it's red but that's where the tag is so we'll take a closer look at that so there is the size tag on the back of the tongue for you people who like to look at the tags go true to size i'm a us 12 and i go true to size with these this one same thing so no difference you really don't have to go too much into detail because it's exactly the same you got the all red in Sole with the black Nike Air on the heel there. Nice gray sock liner. Back of the tongue's got the same size tag as well. It also came in the correct box, so it's got a Jordan 3 box. You got the elephant print on the bottom. The big red Jumpman on the lid. If you come and look at the front there, there is the size tag. And then if you open it up, there's the inside. So the inside of the box is all red. It's got the elephant print around the back and then elephant print tissue paper on the inside. So there you have it 
guys the Jordan 3 black cement this is updated OG batch and I have to say it is incredible I'm super happy I mean I'm literally more happy about getting these than any other shoe that I reviewed in the last year I'm telling you I'm in love with this shoe and is incredible she always is on point she knows what's going on in the game what batches are the best who's updating what her speeds are fast so I really recommend checking her out appreciate you guys watching and stay tuned for more peace